What's up beautiful people, this is Mike from My Gadgets World and in today's video we're going to be talking about what's coming your way on the LG OLED C1 and G1 in the upcoming update. So before we get into the video, I want to get this out of the way that this update is not for the public, this update is not even in the beta. This update is only available if you're in the engineer mode on the LG OLED TV. So we are specifically looking at the LG OLED G1 here and I'm going to take you to the setting and show you what update I'm running it on. So. If we go into the software update section, you can see that 03.11.21, that's the software update available to public, which does not have the uh, Dolby Vision 120 Hertz. But this update on the LG website, 03.11.23, this actually has the Dolby Vision uh, 120 Hertz available. But what I'm doing here is I'm skipping that because I've already done that on my other TV. So I'm going to be doing this engineer mode, which gonna get me the one step ahead where I can see what new come in on your way. So you already know that now it supports the Dolby Vision 120 Hertz. So now we're gonna be looking at what's gonna be the next to that. And uh, that update will be available over the air in a couple of days. Right now it's only available for the manual download if you wanna go to the LG website. And that's the maximum you should be doing until now. Do not attempt to get into the developer mode or engineer mode if you don't know what you're doing because the chances are you might break your uh, TV and you won't be able to claim warranty because there are so many complications when you get into the service menu. So just make sure that you're not attempting that on your TV. If you're risking that, doing it on your behalf, you know, I won't be responsible for that. It's just for the educational purpose, just showing you what's going to happen. So I clicked on the update, there's no more update available, and this is the engineer mode, we have the 03.15.27. So you will be getting that at some point, but I connected my Xbox Series X to my TV, LG OLED G1, and this also applies to the LG OLED C1, to see what changes have uh, made on this upcoming update, 03.15.27. Um, so I went to the TV and display options, and check for you know whether all those options which are latest are available or not and you know that 4k 120 hertz now it's available in the dolby vision 120 hertz so you can see all of those boxes are checked and we have everything green that means it supports now everything so lg g1 and c1 these are the only two tvs in the world right now supporting the dolby vision 60 hertz and 120 hertz both and also you can go and turn on that free sync. I'm trying to see where it is because they've been moving it around. So it's in the support section. Um, no, it's in the game optimizer itself. Yeah, they shuffled it there. So go to the game optimizer. And I want to make sure that my free sync is on because now it has been fixed. Before you couldn't run the Dolby Vision if your free sync is activated. But now you can see this is the purple color new game optimizer. You can see the FPS has been fixed. Now it's not that factor of like 5.4. Now it's proper 119 FPS on 120, usually it's like that. Black stabilizer, low latency, and you can see the free sync VRR is enabled. And um, most of the stuff is pretty much same as it was before, but now we have this new color scheme here, right? And we have a game dashboard, which is kind of similar to what we have in the Samsung TVs in the QN90A. Um, I saw that game dashboard, so it's kind of like similar to that. So maybe energy inspired by the Samsung there. and. Uh, you can see AMD FreeSync Premium is also on. So now everything has been fixed with the update where we have the AMD FreeSync enabled and also we are running the Dolby Vision. So that's 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 good because now you can take full advantage of that FreeSync Premium that we had disabled before, but now you can leave it enabled, which works uh, flawlessly with the Xbox Series X. And we saw that frames changing. It's still locked because the developers, when they build the game, or they write the game, they write it in a specific way so that it keeps that 60 FPS or, you know, that 120 FPS. If they're doing it, mostly it's hertz of the TV. So it's matching there. Well, you press the setting button on the game mode. If you're in the game mode, you press the setting button, you have this new game dashboard now, which is showing you the information about what, what you are actually active on right now. Freezing premium is on. If you want to go to all settings, you can just click here. There's shortcuts now because before if you hit that uh, remote control button and you hit the setting button, it will take you to the settings. But now it has the new dashboard which which pops up on the screen. And uh, 
I can see everything from here. It's a good shortcut. You can change your game mode from here directly. You can go from a standard to, um, you can change it to FPS, RTS, whatever the game mode you want to be in. And it's um, ease of access, but it's, it's kind of good feature to have, but it's kind of like, um, you know, Samsung had it first, so we'll give it to them, but they still don't have the Dolby Vision. So LG is still far ahead in, in the gaming game. <laughs> So I think this makes it the best choice for those out there who wants to game on the TV and also watch movies. So it's kind of like um, jack of all, you know, like if Sony is master of one, that's the picture quality, you know, uh, just for movies and TV shows, then LG will have to give it, give it to LG that they are, they're, I would call them the jack of all and master of one in a way that they give everything that you need. They don't even hold back. So you don't have to wait for now VRR updates. It's been there since the beginning. And you can see how the VRR information shows us that now it's matching with the uh, 119, 118 FPS. So the free sync is working. That's, that's, that's a good news. And also it's working along with the Dolby Vision. So we are in the Dolby Vision uh, game mode. So I'm going to bring this HDMI menu and you can see we have the Dolby Vision game mode and Dolby Atmos. So this is like best of both worlds you're going to get. But to be honest, I'm not using the Dolby Vision game mode right now because the games are written in like HDR metadata. So when you're using, you're forcing the Dolby Vision mode on the TV and you're playing everything in Dolby Vision, that's not the right way to do it. Some people will say Dolby Vision looks good. Yeah, because it's a perceived kind of like, you know, quality that you have that Dolby Vision is always superior than HDR. But the thing is, would you play a movie which was made in HDR 10 and then you force that Dolby Vision? I mean, pretty much you can do that on Apple TV. You can just go and uh, force the Dolby Vision on anything, even on SDR. So that's not the right way to do. So I'm going to wait for the Dolby Vision uh, mastered, I would say, or optimized games to come up, and then maybe I'll start playing. All right, and this is another value addition now we have. Some people don't like that grayish color, so they have added three new colors. So you can choose from orange, green, and violet. I personally like this green here. I might stay with orange for now because it has. It's, it depends on like what I'm playing right now. So there's a lot of green in the background, so it's kind of like look good here for the color scheme, but. It's up to you. Now you have at least three options to choose from. So that's, that's a good thing. All right. So that's all I have from this video, guys. Make sure to hit the like on this video so it can go to more people. And also consider subscribing because you guys have been doing great. We are almost about to hit that 18,000 subscribers mark. And with your help, we'll touch that 20,000 as well. So keep supporting, keep loving, and uh, make sure to check out the other videos as well. And let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about the, these upcoming features, whether you like them or not, or are they like just cherry on top? I kind of like it for the ease of access, you know, but I won't be switching my profiles as much because from FPS to uh, standard to FPS to RPG and all, I have my calibrated settings. So I usually keep it at the standard, but if I want to go to the FPS mode to brighten up the screen and go and play Warzone, that's the only game that I would go to FPS, but usually I'll keep it at the standard. But there are a couple of things. They are improvements, so always welcome those improvements, right? So this is a good step forward. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And once one more time, I want to reinforce this, that this is available only in the engineer mode right now it's not available out in the public it's not available even on the website on the lg so be mindful of when you're messing with those options and uh, let me know in the comment section if you want to learn about anything or have any questions or concerns and i'll see you guys in another video until then peace out